Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to the series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about if else statement in C programming. We'll learn to create decision making programs that perform one set of tasks under a certain condition and another set of tasks under different condition. So let's get started. In C programming, we use the if statement to create programs that can make decision. Let's start by looking at the syntax of the if statement. The if statement starts with if keyword and is followed by the test condition inside the parenthesis. This test condition is a boolean expression that results in either true or false. If the test condition is true, the body of if statement is executed. Otherwise, it is skipped from the execution. Now that you know the syntax of if statement, let's try a working example. Suppose there is an election going on and to cast the vote, your age must be 18 or more. If your age is 18 or more, we'll print you are eligible to vote. Let's see how we can implement this. Here I have a basic C program. Now I'll create a variable to store age. Int age. Now I'll ask the user to input their age. For that, I'll use printf statement and print the message like enter your is then I'll use scanf statement to take the input so percent %d comma and percent is then I'll use if condition to check if is is greater than or equals to 18 if this condition is true, I'll print you are eligible to vote. Now let me run this program. Here I'll provide 31 as the is and I'll press enter. As you can see, you are eligible to vote is printed. Here the value is 31, so our test condition is greater than or equals to 18 is true. That is why this print statement is executed. Now let me run this program again. This time instead of 31, I'll enter 15. This time nothing is printed on the screen. This is because the age is 15, so the test condition is is greater than or equals to 18 is false so the body of the if statement is skipped our program is working fine but it is not printing anything when the age is less than 18 we might want to print something like sorry you are not eligible to vote when age is less than 18 so i'll add another if statement so i'll say if age is less than 18 I'll print sorry you are not eligible to vote now I'll run this code and I'll enter 15 again here you can see sorry you are not eligible to vote is printed this is because age is 15, so this condition age is greater than or equals to 18 is false. Therefore, this statement is skipped. However, this condition age is less than 18 is true, so this statement is executed. I have this code from the last segment. I'll remove this code to get the user input and I'll manually assign the value of age equals to 15 so that it's easier to focus on the logic of the if statement. In this program, I have used two if statement to perform two different tasks. We know that the person is eligible to vote only if the age is greater than or equals to 18. And if the condition is not met, we know that the person is not eligible to vote. In such cases, instead of writing the second if statement with the condition, we can use else clause. Let's first look at the syntax of the if statement with the else clause. On your screen, you can see how it looks. So what happens here is if our test condition is true, 
statement inside the body of if statement is executed and if it is false statements inside the body of else are executed now getting back to our code to check if the person is eligible to vote or not in this program i'll use the else clause instead of this second if statement so i'll remove this second if statement and replace it with else now let me read this code in plain english age is greater than or equals to 18 then print you are eligible to vote else print sorry you are not eligible to vote now when i run this code you can see sorry you are not eligible to vote is printed this is because age is 15 which is not greater than or equals to 18 so we get the output sorry you are not eligible to vote okay guys we need your support to keep this type of content free for all user youtube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses the if statement with else clause allow us to make a choice from two different options however sometimes we need to make choice from more than two options in those case we can use else if clause with test condition let's see the syntax first the if statement checks the first condition inside the if statement if it is true the body of if is executed and the statement 2 and the statement 3 are skipped however if the first test condition is false the control of the program jumps to the second test condition if this condition is true the body of the else if statement is executed and other statement are skipped if both the test condition 1 and the test condition 2 are false then only the else body is executed if necessary we can add as many else if clauses as we want for our program to work and among all those alternatives only a single block of code is executed now we know how the else if clause works let's get back to our code to check whether a person can vote or not here the age variable stores the age of the person currently the age of oldest person is 120 so i want this program to consider age greater than 120 as invalid similarly the age cannot be negative so i also want to mark less than zero as invalid now i want to include these two additional condition in our program for that i'll use else if clause now i'll modify this code so if is is greater than 120 i'll print invalid is invalid is and else if so if is is less than zero that is negative value then we'll print is invalid is i'll change this if to else if so as you can see i have included one if condition two else if condition and finally one else condition here i'll change the value from 15 to 130 now i'll run this code here the is is greater than 120 so we get invalid is as our output now let's change the value of this is from 130 to minus 4 and let's run this again this time we get invalid is again so this is the condition of else if here is is less than 0 so the output we got is invalid is now we can add as many else if condition as we want here we can see these two condition are performing the same tax printing the invalid is in this case we can combine both the condition together using logical operator here the is is invalid if it is either greater than 120 or less than 0 or let me modify this code so i'll cut this i'll use logical or and put here is less than 0 so i'll change this value from minus 4 to minus 1 and when i run this code 
I get invalid is as output. Now, as long as the is is an integer number, our program works correctly. And the extra condition makes sure the is is neither greater than 120 or less than 0. And for any other value of is, the program runs as intended. If we provide the is equals to 50, so let's do that. I'll provide the value of is equals to 50. I'll run this. Now this person is eligible to vote. Before we end this video, one quick tip for you. If the body if else block has only one statement like this, then we can omit the curly braces of the if block like this. As you can see, the syntax of the if statement is pretty simple. The harder part is the logic behind the test conditions. So you will get better at creating test condition with practice. Also, be sure to check our video on the comparison and logical operators that are used to create the test condition. The link will be in the video description below. We have covered a lot in this video. It's time for you to practice what we have learned. Here is one programming challenge for you to solve. Can you create a program to check whether a number is positive, negative or zero? To create this program, create a variable named number and assign a double value to it based on the user input. Then using an if statement, check if the number variable is positive, negative or zero. If the number is positive, print the number is positive. If the number is negative, print the number is negative. And if the number is zero, print the number is zero. You'll find the, all the answers to this question in our GitHub repository. And also, if you want to revise the concept we learned today, you can find all programs in the repository. Since the video is already long, we are not covering the nested if else statement. If you are interested, you can learn about them from our website programmings.com. I'll put the link in the video description. Now that we are at the end of this video, it's time for programming squeeze. What is the output of following code? Comment your answer below and see you on the next video. Happy programming.